would you like to know, sir? Uh, okay, um, t tell us about the book and, and some of the uh, stuff that you're doing. Right, um, the, reason I got, uh, the reason I'm here is because the organiser of this event, Bill Gerrards, yes. he commissioned me to, to write a couple of books for him. Yeah. And uh, this is the latest one called The Kiwi Chronicles. It's um, set in the days of the Georgian period and it's basically... Well, what is it about? What does it say on the back of there? Well, well what it says is the Divine Commodore, his Kiwi bird crew set out on a magical adventure to sail around the world visiting mythical kingdoms and wondrous lands. The year is 1975 and science is oh, at tell me, war. It doesn't say that, does it? Oh, my gosh. 1735. 1735. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's that one. And the other one I've got over there is a book called Alice on Mars, Alice which is Mars. Alice in Wonderland's last adventure okay. when she's captured by the Martians just before the War of the Worlds. Wow. So wow. it covers it all, really, doesn't so, it? So, uh, Alison, how, how, would, how would you see Alice in Wonderland in, in, in real life? Well, now, that's a good question, because they're actually going to be making a movie out of it, and they said, oh, who should we cast for Alice, who should we cast for Alice? Now, there's a, the little girl who's what, the latest Doctor Who assistant here, isn't she? Yes, What's yes. her name? I can't remember what her name oh. is. Yeah. Yeah, Jen. Yeah, she's nice, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, she'd make a nice Alice as a teenage girl, wouldn't she? But I thought better. Japanese girl. Don't you reckon? A Japanese girl playing Alice in Wonderland. Oh, You'd oh. go and see that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Japanese manga girl. He would go and see this. Yes, I would. he would. I would definitely <laughs> go and see that. So we got um, Paul McGann's going to be in it, and we don't know who else is going to be in it, but it'll start shooting early next year. Wow. And we're hoping then that we so, can bring it over here and show it at Armageddon. You see. Oh, I've got a quick question. Go on then. The, if you're looking, if you're looking for some strong male handsome actors, really, you might be available. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll fly you out to England, you know, absolutely. Bring the whole crew with you. Come, shoot a, a, shoot a pirate version, yeah. Abs absolutely. So, do, do you think I'll make a good pirate? A pirate? Well, no, I see you more as juvenile lead, really. Oh, my Yeah, gosh. you know, you know. Does you see yourself more as a sort of a Justin Bieber character? Uh, baby, baby, <laughs> baby, baby, well. It's about time he went to prison, really, isn't it? <laughs> so, so, well, what? Well, while you're here, you're enjoying the Armageddon? Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, what's not to love about all these beautiful women? Absolutely. Isn't so it? It's fascinating, isn't it's, it? It you is know. fascinating. Uh, this is the biggest one ever, isn't it? I mean, I've never seen so many people. So, yeah, there's quite, can I, quite can a few I just people. say one thing? Yes, you, you can. You, and I'm uh, sorry if this offends or anything, but you have an impeccable moustache. <laughs> well, that's to do with being very, very old. I'm actually growing one myself, if you can see. Yeah, well, 60 years later... It will have grown a bit more. <laughs> I, I had a friend of mine, and uh, he's the same age as me, and I said, I just don't get it. I said, here I am, white hair, grey hair. I said, you haven't got a grey hair on your head. And he looked at me, and I said, you've been dying it. And he'd been dying his hair since he was 40. I should have dyed mine, you see. Yeah, absolutely. Same colours as black. Same, same, colors same colors your um, suit. <laughs> you got, you got in the well, le <laughs> leopard skin beard. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think it's an absolute goer, yeah. yeah I once dyed it blue and it dripped all down my front. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mate. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you've oh. probably, you've run out of questions now, haven't uh, you? No, I haven't I run out of questions. I've actually got a question. Yes, sir. Uh, has there been a director attached to the movie? Well, it's a director called, called Martin Gooch, and he's done a couple of, sh of, of sort of art house movies. The latest one is a film called The Search for Simon, which actually... You can probably get on your television set if you've got one of these virgin things or whatever the packages are over here. And uh, that's doing quite well. But this is the first big budget one he'll be doing. And the, the producer is the producer who did a film called The King's Speech. I don't know if you heard of that? But that's the producer on it. And Paul McGann is going to be in it, but we don't know who else is going to be in it. So, but I mean, one believes this when you can go to the cinema and actually see it, don't you? I mean, I've had a lot of people over the years that bought the film rights to my books. I'm still waiting for the movie. <laughs> Geez, so, uh, yeah. Well, well, it I'll, is very exciting, all that sort of thing, you know. Well, well, well could you write, write a character about me? Well, you what think do you think? That would be, that would be, do you want to be the villain? Are you going to be the super villain? I would love to play the villain. Yeah, wouldn't we all, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a James Bond villain. Stro stroking a white kiwi bird yeah. on your lap. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> my, my dear wife went to see, we, we, we're down in... 
Well, Napier, we were down from there where they got the white kiwi bird. Have yes, you seen it? Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, it made her day. She oh, was in absolutely. joy seeing them. Well, well. Oh, I do like cooking and putting them in the oven too as well. But. Well, why was that? You hollow them out, they make a nice hat. Yes. You know, with a nice beak at the front. Absolutely. It's a good look, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, one of the things I just want to wrap up, um, can you say your name? And while you're here, Armageddon on Tyler TV. Oh. This is all you now. Hello to all you viewers of Tyler TV. This is Robert Rankin at Armageddon saying, keep on keeping on. Thank you very much.